Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, I'm Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. I'm so happy you are here. In today's video, we are going to be decorating the rest of my house. So I hope that you caught last week's video where we worked on the main Christmas tree. Hope maybe that gave you some inspiration and some ideas for your own tree. And so we're just gonna kind of carry that same theme throughout the whole house. I'm just going for a simple, cozy Christmas. I like all of the traditional Christmas colors. And um, so we're gonna do that throughout the rest of my home today. We're definitely gonna work on the foyer, the rest of the living room. We're gonna get into the kitchen and dining areas. And so my plan for today is we're gonna get everything put out and I'm gonna use what I have and kind of get it all set out and see how I like it. And there are a few new items that I'm, I'm kind of eyeing this year that I kind of want to purchase. So I'm trying to be really intentional with what I buy. I want to make sure I have a home for it. Um, I don't want to spend any unnecessary money. I want to really use what I have. But each year I usually pick up a few new items and so I'll try to keep those budget friendly. Stay tuned next week and we will do a Christmas haul for any new items I have purchased this year. And so let's just go ahead and get started. I hope that you enjoy the video. If you do, make sure that you give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have big plans here on my channel and you help me out so much when you subscribe and like my videos. Comment, I love talking to you guys. Just let me know what you like and um, I just appreciate you so much. So anyway, let's get going and see what we can get done. I'm getting started here in my living room. I'm gonna work on my fireplace first. So I picked up this big sign, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. I was afraid it was too big. That's why you'll see it still has the cardboard on the corners because I'm just trying it out. Um, so I like to put that wreath up at the top of my fireplace. And so I wanted to make sure the sign wasn't too big, but I actually think I really love it. So I just have this crock that already has some greenery in it. So I'm just adding a little more greenery. This was just a bunch that I had gotten and I sort of cut it up into smaller pieces so I could put it out in different vases. And I just like it because it has the red berries on it and I can just scatter that throughout to add a little pop of red. I'm just playing around with my candlesticks here. These are just some brass candlesticks. Those two are little angels, and I got those from my husband's grandmother. So I definitely wanted to incorporate those into my decor this year. I like the red candlesticks, again, just to give a little pop of color. Um, you'll see me playing around a lot today with uh, all these different spaces because I just have to play around with it, stand back, take a look, see what I like. So you'll see that a lot today. And make sure you come back in a couple of weeks for my full home tour because you probably will say that a lot of this stuff has gotten moved around yet again. Now I'm going to move into my foyer and work on my entry table. So I'm just giving it a quick little wipe down. Like I said, I like to start with a clean slate and see what I'm working with and see what kind of ideas I can come up with. So I'm probably gonna use, just leave my diffuser there in that basket. This is a beautiful little wooden and metal piece uh, nativity scene. I actually got that at Vintage Market Days in Nashville a couple of years ago. I wish I had the name of the shop so I could see if they were on Instagram. But anyway, if you made that, let me know in the comments. It is really beautiful. And you'll see I actually am using my little angel candlesticks here instead of on the fireplace. And I'm thinking I may go ahead and get some more red candles to put in there just to give that little pop of color. This space um, seemed a little bit, not a lot of color, but anyway, um, I really like the traditional Christmas colors. So you'll see a lot of the reds and greens, but this kind of stayed neutral, especially on top there. And I really do like it so far. Moving on to my living room. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love throw pillows. <laughs> um, I ended up picking up these at Hobby Lobby this year because I thought they were so cute. I normally tend to just go for the pillow covers. Um, 
but also picked this one up at TJ Maxx this year, but all of them do have zippers, so you're able to take those covers off and replace them at different times of the year. So you'll see me here, those green velvet covers, they came from Amazon. So you'll see me here, I'm actually swapping around some of the covers on different pillows because I like uh, just the inserts better some of them I like to be choppy and some of them I don't, if you know what I mean. And so you'll see how I'm kind of going to style that. So I'm just putting this big throw blanket. It is so soft and cozy. I actually won that in a game of Dirty Santa. And I have learned that everybody doesn't know what Dirty Santa is. So tell me in the comments, do you know what the game Dirty Santa is? Is that just a Southern thing? Y'all let me know. But we play Dirty Santa around here, and I won that pretty throw in a game of that. So you'll see I still have the tags on these pillows because I'm trying them out. You know, I kind of got to give them a look and see what I think about it, see if I think I want to keep them. But these velvet covers here are so inexpensive, and like I said, they came from Amazon. I will be sure to link anything that I can in the comments below. So if you're looking for a link to anything, I'll be glad to do that if I'm able. Um... And like I said, this little throw is so soft and cozy. Not necessarily Christmas colors, but I feel like it goes really well with all of the Christmas decor. Okay, time to get started in the kitchen and dining area. So this is just some items that I already had on hand. It's things that I've just picked up over the years, mostly inexpensive, small little details that you can just sit around in your kitchen or in your dining area just to give a little pop of Christmas. First up, I'm gonna work on my little coffee corner here. I love to decorate my little coffee area. I like to keep my Keurig out on the counter. I like to keep my K-cups right there handy on the counter. So I don't do anything over the top here. I don't have just tons of room and I don't like a whole lot of clutter on my countertops, but I like to add just a little bit of Christmas over in this corner. So just giving everything a really quick wipe down, a good clean up before I get started. I picked up this little wreath last year at Target in the dollar spot. I think it was $3, but I don't use it as a wreath. So I'm just going to actually sit it on this little riser and sit my K-cups right on top of it. That just adds a little bit of greenery. And then I got this adorable little Santa mug at Hobby Lobby this year. He was only $4. And so I like to keep a mug out on my Keurig. And then this is the Ray Dunn mug. You can be naughty or nice, whatever mood you happen to be in and so I'm just going to use that as a little bit of decor as well and then these little bottle brush trees are great to just stick in anywhere I'm going to put a little paper towel on the bottom to give it some height and let that tree just stick right out of the mug there now I got this merry and bright sign at Target last year I believe it's hearth and hand it's a very heavy sign and I, last year I tried to hang it on my subway tile above my stove with some 3M strips and it kept falling. So I just sit it right here on this ledge for now, but I'll probably try to hang it with some 3M strips on the wood right there. But it's a cute sign and I think it looks cute right here in this corner. Now I'm moving over to my fruit bowl corner. I guess I like to decorate the corners here in my kitchen. So this is just a really deep corner here. So I'm playing around a little bit and I'm just using some of this greenery with the red berries, um, just putting it in this vase here. And I kind of bent it up so that it would fit in the vase and not... Um, be too tall and then I'm putting in a few more of these red berries which actually have just about had it so by the time you see the full home tour this probably is going to be different because I noticed how bad they looked in the video but anyway I'm just stuffing those in the vase to just add a little pop of red and a little bit of greenery back there I'm just using my round wicker tray I love it you can style it so many different ways I've got this cute little gingerbread man and woman I love these I've had these for years I actually got those in a game of dirty Santa they came with a cookbook and I put those out every year and then I'm just putting my little snowman nightlight right up there and that's all I did. I left my fruit in the bowl. I left that little riser standing up in the back. And that's all I did right here. I might play around with this corner a little bit more. So stay tuned for that. But just kept it really simple. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you see this corner quite often. This is where I keep my Aria diffuser. That is some Christmas spirit oil I am putting in there. It smells so good. And I do like to keep some room temperature water out to put in my diffuser. I feel like that makes the mist so pretty. And so I'm just pouring some of that right in. I'm gonna get my diffuser started and I'll show you what I do in this corner. I just put some of my essential oils in that little white dove there, just as a holder for some of the oils that I use regularly, putting a couple more of these bottle brush trees right up there on that cake stand. I love using a cake stand to hold my diffusers. It just elevates them a little bit and also gives you a little bit more room if you want to decorate around it. And then I had this metal um, reindeer. I'm going to sit that over beside my water bottle. I'm kind of using that stuff to cover up the outlet there. So, like I said, very simple. I'm not doing a lot. I don't like tons of clutter on my countertops, but that just adds a cozy little touch of Christmas right there in my corner. going into the dining area I'm just getting my table cleared off here I'm gonna give it a good wipe down and add in my table runner I got this one at Target I think last year so that just gives a little bit of red a little pop of red there and then I use my same centerpiece that you will always see on my table this is my Pawpaw's toolbox and so I like to style it for all of the different seasons and I'll just add in a little bit of whatever season it is so I'm going to throw a Christmas hand towel in there and then I'll throw in a little bit of winter greenery or uh, maybe a little Christmas tree or something like that I'm just going to play around with it and kind of tie it into my hutch this is my hutch it was my grandmother's and then i painted it white so i'm just adding in a little bit of christmas to this i will play around with this quite a bit and over in that corner there where the house plant is will actually be my sentimental christmas tree i put up a little tree there with all of my kids um, ornaments they've made over the years all of our special sentimental ornaments go on that tree and we do colored lights there so that will be coming up I'm not going to do that in this video but it will be there in that corner and so like I said I'm just playing around here on this hutch do you have a separate tree for all of your sentimental ornaments or do you put all of that on your main tree I love just a uh, old-fashioned classic looking Christmas tree it makes me think of when I was a little girl we always had colored lights we always had all of our ornaments that we made at school and my mother still puts all that stuff on there today so I love that but I also love my own Christmas tree where I can be creative and decorate it myself so I just do two separate trees today y'all I hope that you enjoyed maybe that gave you some ideas uh, again on this channel I just want to let you know that you can have a beautiful home you don't have to spend a lot of money you can use what you have you can just be very frugal and have a beautiful home beautiful Christmas decor so if you enjoyed the video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a follow over on Instagram at our Houston Smith home you'll see lots of behind the scenes things over there I try to share a lot over there of just my daily life but I am so happy you are here I hope you will come back next week don't forget that's going to be our Christmas haul and then the following week will be our full Christmas home tour and I upload a new video every Tuesday so I hope y'all will come back and join us and we will see you next time bye